Can you describe the emotions, your feeling and the team's feeling after that one? Uh, we were very disappointed. I mean, we had a chance to win that game. We didn't get it done, and um, it, it hurt. Kyle, you guys didn't have a three and out until right there at the, the end of the fourth quarter. They had two in a row. What, what, what changed there? Why weren't you able to execute? Um, you know, just we, we didn't get anything with the runs, and then when we had the passes, we um, they moved the chains. So we had a chance there at the end. Uh, especially when they tied it up and we had that kick return with the penalty. Um, we had every opportunity to finish it and win that game, and we didn't get it done. Yeah, the third down throw that CJ threw up there. Um, but were you having any, any issues with that? Um, yeah, yeah, it wasn't ideally what we wanted. They all out blitzed us. We had to get rid of it. Uh, There's four options on the play, but that, that wasn't the one that we wanted. Did you see the illegal contact? No, I didn't see it. Uh, it's hard to share that we're talking about teams learning how to win. Is this a, a case of just not knowing quite how to close something like this out? Um, I mean, we, we didn't get it done. We had, we had a chance to win today. Um, very disappointed that we didn't. Um, we had our times on both sides of the ball, and you know, uh, you know, we struggled a lot in the first half on defense, but that we managed to, um, to get it together there in the second half. And they held them there at the end, gave us a chance to win the game. And, um, you know, one of the offense squad and finish it, and we didn't and give Aaron a chance with the ball like that. He's done that a lot of times. You guys obviously lean heavily on Mostert throughout the game. What gave you the, you know, the confidence that he could, you know, live up to that? Just the way he looked in practice all week. You know, we didn't know whether we were going to have Breeder or not till today. Um, so we, we worked him a lot during the week, gave him more reps and stuff. Um, just worked with him and Alf, and he had a real good week of practice. He was up to the challenge and. Um, did a good job today. Uh, at what point today did you know Breida could go, and how do you how do you think he did just at first look there? Um, I, th I thought he did good. You know, he, he, he ran hard. Um, you know, we, we had to spell him a little bit, you know, just to keep his health up. But um, you know, it was very um, Breida's the man for, for him to get out there. He was hurting a lot, um, battled all week to try to get his body ready to play, and um, he did a good job tonight. How do you look at the way CJ played? It seemed for the first two three quarters, he really took a big step forward. Avoided mistakes, and obviously now he's trying to execute the way you want. How do you sort of? Um, you know, CJ was one of the chances we, we had a chance to win this game, and you know himself, just like uh, a lot of us, we didn't get it done at the end. So uh, he did some good things and some things that I know he'd like to take back, and we'll have to learn from, and we'll all have to work out just continue to get better to find a win. What, what happened on their their opening play, the, the 60 yarder? Um, I think there was a miscommunication in the back end. You get caught up between two coverages with a certain check. Um, I only saw half of it. You know, once he caught it, he was open. Um, but that's what I was told. We'll find out more tomorrow. Did you enter the game thinking Ward was going to be the, the starting corner and play throughout, and not get rotated? Yes. Yeah, that's playing going on. Some of the passwords got a little bit more productive this week. Did you see that playing? Um, yes. From what I from what I noticed, it did. Thought we had that huge sack at the end. Uh, I know we had the legal contact on it, which took it back. But um, it seemed like our guys were getting there a lot more. Can you talk a little about Ronald Blair and how he did today? Um, from what I saw, he made some plays. You know, you know, I saw him a few times. I don't get to see it all when I'm looking up there. Uh, you know, Ronald's been steady for us all year. He's done everything we've asked him to do, and I'm um, glad to have him on our team. A couple more. There was a play in the first half. They, they blew it dead. It looked like the ball came out. And I know they called uh, forward progress, and that's so not something you can challenge. But did, did you get a good look at that? What, what did yeah. you see on that? Yeah, I was disappointed. We thought it was a fumble, um, and, and it was. But, you know, fortunately, they said that they blew it dead and the forward progress had stopped. So once, once they say that, there's nothing you can do about it. Talking about CJ learning, I mean, what, what does he need to learn? What, what do you, on first observations? For this? Well, there's lots of stuff there at the end, lots of experiences you can go through. Uh, you know, we just had an opportunity to win that at, at the end. And, you know, you get a third down, and there's lots of choices on that versus all-out blitz. And um, definitely chose the wrong one, uh, but uh, could have been right. If made a great play on it, but, you know, the DB made a good one. And um, just got to learn from that. Um, coach him up on it. and. You know, that's on all of us, but he does some real good things to give us a chance to win that game. How, how did a healthy Marquise Goodwin, what kind of difference does, does that make for your offense? Well, it makes a huge difference. Uh, you know, it's been a while since Keese has been out there, especially full go. Um, he made some big plays today that helped us, and, um, you know, it's, it's good to have him back. There's a report uh, that you guys were poised to sign Tom Savage. Is that correct? Um, he's one of the guys we're looking into. Um, you know, we got to see how this roster is. We've been wanting to add a third one since we, since we lost Jimmy. Um, we'll see how these guys are health-wise and how our 53 plans out. But if we can, we'd like to get a third one in here. Um, Kyle, Kyle, there was a when you guys uh, had a seven-yard run at the beginning there on that last drive, second and three. What did you see there that made you want to throw? Um, that was on the play that got batted down at the line of scrimmage. Um, 
trying to think which one it was. The, the right before the interception. Um, just that we were moving the ball, that the time was lower. Um, we, we felt good about it. We, we liked it, but um, just got tipped. Well, right, on on the uh, on their final series, Kyle, do you have any say on the defensive calls, or do you just let that be with Salah? I mean, yeah, I could have say, but I'm not going to just hop into a defense right. and start calling plays. You know, that's on Salah, and um, Salah's very good at what he does, and I have a ton of confidence in him. I have a ton of confidence in our scheme. Um, you know, they just they, they made the plays that went at the end that we didn't. All right, thanks, coach.